away whenever you're ready. Oh, no, it's already streaming. They heard you say that you want me to start streaming. We are from MyGamer.com, and we are playing Drakenoid. Uh, yep, we are. Which and is a I... newly released Steam game, nope. and apparently you can draw your own paddle is the gimmick. So it's typical single-player Pong. You got Arkanoid. Oh, it slows down. Okay. Bullet time. Whoa. Well, it would, as fast as it's moving, it would be completely fucking impossible to not. If you think about it, this is actually kind of a creative solution to the... Man, I only got like these two bricks at the top of the screen and they're taking forever to hit because you got to get it just at the right angle. You can maybe get it on like one shot now. Yeah, uh, I've never been super good at Arkanoid. Whoa. But apparently you play all kinds of bar games. I mean, Arkanoid and Brickles and... You know, single player Frickles. I did yeah. not even know that was the name of a game. Yep, that was when I remember playing. It was specifically called Brickles back in like computer class in like junior high. This was like you know mid '90s or whatever. There was like you know four games on the computer, and one of them was Brickles. Frickles. Yeah. Um. No, Oregon Trail for me. That's, oh yeah, or I spent Oregon, so much yeah. time playing, and it's funny because it's like I didn't even know that game was fucking educational until someone was like, "Yeah, you learned all kinds of shit in Oregon Trail," and I'm like, "I learned how to spell dysteria." Oregon Trail, I thought, and that was it was kind of funny when all of my friends that I took on the Oregon Trail with me died. That's the problem with Oregon Trail is things just like you can be. You could be like, all right, I'm gonna, I'm gonna be start as the banker, have all this money. Banker and like, was always the best. And like, you're, I'm gonna, I'm gonna buy like all this like medicine and like nope. food. Nope. And it it you doesn't know how you game it? Anything. Do you know how you game it? What's you start that? as the banker. Uh, you buy some wagon repair stuff and you buy bullets. It's literally the best way to game uh, Oregon the, Trail as much as you can, and you just fucking hunt. And the, any, yes. The, that's the best. I was just gonna say the best part of Oregon Trail. Man, we're getting totally sidetracked here. But the best part is the hunting. You know, because you're just like it's like a little you know uh, shooting gallery. Yeah, that's it. That was like I, I can remember like sitting there and like actually gaming it and like figuring out that it's like, yeah, I need to take none of this shit with me. All I need to do is get a gun. Like I'm decent at hunting to the point that like. I don't, I like, I would go 10 feet outside this, the first town. I think it was like Boston or something. Or New York or whatever. Yeah, I and, forget where it takes out. Yeah. Yeah, and it was like, I, I would go 10 feet outside, start hunting, because like I would have no fucking food, but I'd have a, like, a couple extra wagon wheels and just fucking start hunting. And if we ever needed anything, you could always stop and be like, hey, someone trade with me. I have I have 80,000 pounds of food in my wagon. Shoot and, one bear. Yeah, and, and, and you're, it's you're like... set for like the rest of the game. Well, no, because you'd burn through it because you're trading shit because it's like, you need an additional wagon wheel. And it's like, someone give me a wagon wheel. I'll give you as much meat as you want. This person's sick. Someone give me medicine. I'll give you as much meat as you want. You need more bullets. Someone give me more bullets. Yeah, that's that's basically all you had to do. Hunting, bro hunting literally broke Oregon Trail, which is which is funny. I remember being in man. It must have been like fourth grade or something, and we actually got like there was a grade if you and your your team of four completed the Oregon Trail then you got an A but if you like made it like you know halfway or whatever then you got a B or whatever it was but the teacher actually gave you a grade that affected your performance and I remember I was the last one in my group to make it to the Oregon Trail because everybody else just like somebody died of like a snake bite 
somebody like you know fell in the river when we were like boarding the uh, that river was or the most stupid. that was the most annoying like the people so, that were just, just like random. oh yeah this person just fell in the river and it's like how yeah how? it's like I you, hit it's nothing. like it's like I knee hit, deep I, and i hit i hit nothing i hit absolutely nothing <laughs> on the way down and here's a random event that just goes uh yeah. tommy fell in the river and died and it's like yeah how how is my son like we made it all the way to oregon we're literally uh, like five feet away from the game being over and my son has suddenly come down with a case of being mentally retarded yes how is this not why did a snake not take him out earlier <laughs> i remember so yeah it was oregon trail in the early days but then brick you know there was brickles and then there was civilization one on oh like god i love four yeah oh yeah and i there but it was not, it, like civ wasn't on like all the computers or something it was only on like you know the four in the corner so i would try and sit in the corner and play civilization and i had civ at home and i like knew how to play it because if you don't know how to play it it can be kind of intimidating and I remember like sitting next to kind of like the bully in school and I'm just like having a good time playing Civ, but he like wanted to like kind of figure out how to play. And he's like, hey Zach, I'll finish your typing lesson if you help me, you know, teach me how to play Civ. I'm like, all right. So he just, he finished my typing lesson because you're supposed to like, you're supposed to type all day in class. And then if you finish your shit, then you can like play computer games until like the bell rings. So he's like, here, I'll just do this. And you teach me how to play. I'm like, that's a sweet deal. So I like, and I made friends kind of like with the bully at school. And then I didn't have to type. So I got Dude, to play Civ. I, I, I love Civ. I can talk about forever about Civ 1 and 2. Sure. Civ 2 was pretty much just an upgraded Civ 1, though. Which was, which was great. I mean, yeah. Yeah, Civ... I had no complaints. Yes. Um, yeah. It, but Civ. Civ 1, I remember, like, it had this really weird, uh, at least the version I had, had this really weird, like, anti-piracy thing that it would yes. randomly stop and go, and, you, like, you had to consult would, the manual. Yeah, and it you would had go, it, like, yes, yes. What, what uh, it, what technology, technology would come, leads to yes. this technology? And it's Correct. And it's funny because I actually ended up playing the game so long. You knew what we, it was. Yeah, and we had a pirated, did, we had a pirated yeah. version. <laughs> and, I, I did the same fucking thing. And That's I had hilarious. played the game so long that I was just like, oh, yes. that leads to this. I, it, like, it, duh. If you get gunpowder and metallurgy, or gunpowder and something, that gives you metallurgy, which makes you build cannons. And once yep. you get cannons in the game, really kind of, you can start steamrolling the game. And the, yeah, you had to pick. You're exactly right. Like, it was, you know, maybe on turn 10 or something. Like, you're just starting to get going. And it's like, anti piracy, which one is what? And then, yep. yeah, you had to look at the book and, like, figure it out. But yep. if you play it for so long, you just, like, kind of know. You just learn. That's hilarious. I did the same freaking thing. Yeah, because, like, you would, get, you would guess. And, like, eventually you would kind of yeah. You would yes. get it. Yeah, it gave you, like, you know, maybe two chances or something before, like, on the third. Then it would, like, error out or whatever. But, yeah, that's, <laughs> that's awesome. Yep. I still remember that. Good times. I bet yeah. you if we played Civ 1 now, it'd be like, man, this game is so slow and uh, blocky graphics or whatever. But I have, you know, I haven't gone back to play there, the original Civ. Civ 1 was on the Super Nintendo. Civ 1, man, if you ever played it, I was just going to say, if you ever played the SNES version, that game is so slow. Like, it can't even load. Like, you got to wait like a minute between each turn because it just, the cartridge really? just... Yeah, like it cannot handle. It's one of the few games that actually uses the SNES mouse too. So if you had the Mario Paint mouse, you can actually use it on the Super Nintendo version of Civ, which is, you know, probably the best way to play it. But you want to kind of stay away from the SNES version. It's not good. And it's funny because I can remember uh, there, like, randomly, uh, Nintendo Power would have like people like just asking random like stupid questions about Civ in it and I'd be like this is like Civ 101 stuff yeah because would... if you if yeah if you were just grew up with the console if you didn't have a computer like if you had a computer you probably played Civ 
And if you played Civ, then obviously, you know, like that's a big game. Everybody's talking about it. But if you're new, like I said, you know, it's, it is kind of an intimidating, like, how do I play this? Why are there like tiles? What did the numbers mean? Yeah. Um, it was, I don't know. It was, it was, it was really, really, really weird to just see people be like, how do I make farmlands? And it's like sitting there and being like, this is like entry level fucking Civ stuff. Like, how is this making it to the question section of Nintendo Power? Man, I'm just looking up. I just typed in Civ 1 in Google and clicked on images. It's like, oh man, I remember these graphics, dude. Holy shit. Oh, dude, I would lose. Oh, man. I would lose entire days yes. to Civ. I that I, I would did just the same I thing, would yeah. sit there and just play one game on Marathon of Civ. And yeah. like I, I can remember like I would have friends that were like, You wanna hang out? I'm like, oh, I'm just gonna stay in and play Civ. And they're like, Are you fucking serious? And I'm like they're like, Didn't yes. you beat that game? And I'm like, Yeah, I beat the game many times. Yes. They're like, uh What? Like, haven't you beaten Sim City? They're like, Yeah, a handful of times. I'm like, you gonna play it again? They're like, Maybe eventually and I'm like, Well, I'm gonna play Civ. Is there a way to play these old computers? There's got to be a way. I'm pretty I never, sure I never... you can actually play Civ in like a browser at this point. Sure. Like, there's got to... Wasn't there a DOS? Like a website yes. or something? Yes. Uh, uh, like, the Wayback Machine, I think you can do it. Like ar Not like archive.org, but uh, like... Good old games? Oh, maybe good old games, sure. ClassicReload.com. I just got I think you could play it like right here in the browser. Oh, and now I'm done talking to you for the rest of the stream. <laughs> we got totally fucking sidetracked. We're playing Brickles. Man, see what happens? Yeah. This, this, this game doesn't seem so bad, but I mean, I'm watching you play this, and I like how you can control... That's the whole point, is you can control where the... Each individual going, yeah. where the ball's going, which and I'm getting like an aim mode going on. And... Yeah, it seems like, and you could, if it's hard to judge from the stream, but if you make a paddle that's like smaller, the ball seems to go faster. Am I making this up? Like if you pull out a big I, I, paddle, dude, I have no idea. The ball seems to go fast, fucking regardless. Yeah, it really go. Yeah, it, it does, and it changes color every time too. Like this, like this is probably a game you don't want to play if you're like prone to seizures, or like drunk, or drunk. Sure, that's not gonna mushrooms maybe, but yeah, I don't no, understand. I don't understand really that really bad. I don't understand that like you know face icon here at the beginning and the end of oh, every that's, level. Oh, I think like, that's a that? boss. You have to destroy it. It's just like it's you like, shoot him and once like though, and he just like fall. Yeah, it's really right. weird. Like I don't, I don't, don't I don't understand that either. I like how the pieces too, you know, here's triangles with, with rectangles and circles, so it's not all just, you know, rectangles. They are, they bounce the ball differently, so each, each shot is just kind of random. I like that the uh, aim thing takes a while to warm up in the level. That's neat. Yes, it's an, it's an, they kind of thought of it, because if you think about it, like, okay, I got to wait for the ball to bounce around. What if you didn't have to wait and just, just banks and it, it, it wears second. off too so that's cool. yes like so it's not you don't get it just because you, it's warmed up you don't get it for the entire fucking level yeah it seems to be a thoughtful to like how can we make brickles not tedious and you get your timer on the side of the screen so I'm sure there's like leaderboards of some kind. Yeah, see, and then this, I don't understand this. So you it's shoot one him, hit. You shoot, yeah, you shoot the face and it just goes away. Like, is that even necessary? I don't know. I don't think so. Uh, there's, maybe there's a reason that we, that it's there. We just didn't, whoa, is this shooting at you now? Yeah. Dang. But it's it, like, if you hit them, it's like shooting objects at you. Mm -hmm. So you're not like yeah, taking so, damage. Yeah, they bounce off of they're they're interactive. Yeah. There's a collision on them. And I think 
you have to the thing with the exclamation marks i think those are the things you take out to um get to the boss so i don't have to take out all of the bricks i just have to take out those things you just got to take out those indicator pieces yeah, yeah. Hyperspeed action with bullet time. Draw Kanoid lets players draw the paddle that ricochets the lightning fastball into layers of bricks. Uh, good old brick smashing action and pushes it to the extreme. Like, this seems like it'd be a good game to put on, you know, mobile or DS or something where you can just, like, draw yeah, with your I think, finger. Like yeah, on mobile, this might be a lot of fun, especially with, like, the slowdown. Yes. It's already, you know, vertical-oriented anyway. Yeah. So that If it helps. isn't already a mobile-based game. Mm -hmm. But, uh, yeah, that's that's about our time. What do you think, sir? So, yeah, Draconoid, not so bad. Uh... We, it's, I, uh, I, we definitely thought it was not going to be nearly as good. Yeah, it's a very thoughtful game. They, like I said, they tried to they they looked at Arkanoid and, and Brickles and said, "This is what's the worst part of this? How can we make it better?" So they've thought about you know the the speeding up mechanic, the letting you aim each individual shot, bullets they should kind of shoot back at you. There's different colored you know uh, different shaped bricks that bounce off in different directions so it's not just like the same thing over and over again so Draconoid doesn't seem so bad might be one of the better now I don't think there's like power-ups like Arkanoid do it again where you can like shoot lasers back and you can like change the ball where it just like goes through all the, the bricks and stuff like that I think you, get there, like a, you do get power-ups that you can like buy you, okay, maybe maybe we didn't get that far you get like a sticky paddle you know but um, maybe we just didn't get that far but from uh it's very colorful of course there's they put some effort into the presentation so draconoid yeah not so bad no not at all so we are from again mygamer.com go there put us in your favorites we post a lot of news reviews preview streams all that good stuff we posted a bunch of stuff in january gonna post already have a bunch of stuff scheduled for february here so go check us out. You can follow me on Twitter at Zach Gaz, Z-A-C-K-G-A-Z. -A -A and you can follow us on Twitter at MyGamerNew. So until next time, thank you for watching and game on.